which is easier to love God or to love people? Now, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to get this answer wrong. They're going to say, well, it's easier to love God than people. That's not true. Not according to the Bible and according to logic. Listen to what John writes in 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. He says this, whoever claims to love God yet hate his brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. You hear what John says? Is love for others will always be higher than love for God. Why? Because we can see people and it's easier to love when we see. Now that's logical. Uh, I'll give you an example. You get a pregnant a mother as the baby's growing and, and, and kicking in her womb. She has this love for the child, doesn't she? But yet she hasn't seen the child. But once the child is born and the, the mother sees the child, holds the child in her arms, doesn't her love skyrocket that moment because she's seen the baby? See, we need to see in order to love. I'll give you another example. Let's say a friend says to Bob, hey, Bob, there's a girl I want you to meet. She's single. You're single. I know you will hit it off. Now, Bob may be interested, but he doesn't love the girl. He will never love her if he never meets her and sees her. Only when he meets and sees her does he have the possibility of falling in love. I've given you a couple examples to show how we need to see in order to love. Why is John writing this? He's trying to shock the Christians who are claiming to love God, yet they don't love people. And he's saying, your claim to love God is false. Because in reality, your love for people, it's like this. And your love for God is this, and it will always be, be below your love for people. It can never be higher than your love for people because God cannot be seen. And because he cannot be seen, it's very difficult to love God whom we have not seen. And so many times Christians will tell themselves, you know, I don't want to go to church. I don't want to be around Christians anymore. I'm tired of it. They're hypocrites, but I love God. And I'm just going to love God on Sunday mornings in my living room. I'm not going to go to church. Listen, you don't love God like you think you do. Because if you don't love the church and the people in the church, then you really don't love God. You're fooling yourself. See, what you actually have is what I like to call a disinterested love for God. That is, you do love him in one sense, that, that he sent his son, he died on the cross for you, you know what he did for you, you've accepted him, he's forgiven you, and because of that, yes, you do have love, but it is a disinterested love, because you can't see him. Only when you can love human beings, whom you have seen, can your love for God rise up, because the more you love others, the more you can love God. And some of you are fooling yourself, you convince yourself you love God, but you just don't like people very much. But what are you going to do with 1 John chapter 4, verse 20, when John says, if you don't love people, then you don't love God. And that is the fact. And this is a revelation that's important to embrace because what John is trying to do, he's trying to spur us for love for people. Because yes, he wants us to love God, but what he wants us to do is by loving people, our love for God's going to increase. Because your love for people will always be higher than your love for God. And I know for some of you, this is a shocking revelation because you got the answer wrong. You thought it was easier to love God. No, see, the reason why you think it's easier to love God because, you know, God hasn't done anything wrong. He hasn't gossiped. He hasn't maligned you. He didn't offend you. He didn't do anything wrong to you. I mean, he just sent his son. I mean, he hasn't done anything wrong. So you think you love him because you haven't been wronged by him. But human beings, you've been wronged. People have done wrong things. But you have forgotten that people have also been good to you. They've done kind things. And you have forgotten that. And you have focused on the bad things that human beings have done. Therefore, you've convinced yourself you love God more than people because people hurt you. And many of you have stopped going to church because you've been hurt. But yet you think you have a relationship with God, but you don't. It is a very inferior relationship. This passage should shake all of us up. Because until we start loving people, we're never going to love God in the way we should.